welcome back to a new vlog. So today is my first time vlogging, being back home from my trip. Today is Wednesday, it's the day after I got back from Florida and I'm going to be doing my weekly reset in this video. I'm going to take care of things around the house. I'm gonna clean, I'm just gonna get everything situated and back to normal and back to my normal routine. As you can tell by the title, I have to go grocery shopping. I need to restock my fridge. It's completely empty. I have no food. I haven't eaten breakfast yet because I have no food. I had to drink my coffee black today because I don't have milk or creamer. I literally have nothing. And so yeah, we're gonna do grocery shopping today. We're gonna get a lot of errands done. I got to go to the post office and return some packages. And I also have to unpack. Here is my suitcase, literally haven't done anything yet. So we're gonna unpack and wash my laundry. And I hope you guys enjoyed my Florida vlog. If you haven't seen it yet, it's up on my channel. And I actually didn't really get to film much there. I feel like my vlog could have been a lot better. I feel like I wasn't talking enough or I wasn't like interacting enough because I really was just trying to live in the moment. I was trying to enjoy my vacation as much as possible because as easy as it looks, vlogging is actually a lot of work, especially when you have to like talk to the camera and like plan out content you're gonna shoot. So I kind of just picked up my camera when I could and when I actually remembered because I actually forgot a lot of the times. So yeah, that vlog was kind of shorter than I wanted it to be. But I hope regardless you guys still enjoyed it and I had so much fun like making content. I took a lot of photos and TikToks and reels. I made that. So go follow me on Instagram if you don't already to see all of my like outfit photos. So yeah, we're gonna get going. I just changed my bed sheets. I actually, before I went to Florida, I actually did self tanner and I totally forgot to shower and wash the self tanner off before I left. So my sheets have self tanner all over them so I have to wash them. I wanna restock on my flowers. My vase over there is pretty empty and I have nothing on my living room table right now. It's just kind of sad looking right now and it's also raining. So like this is not the weather I wanted to come back to. I'm coming from super sunny, beautiful, like 90 degree weather to this. So that kind of sucks, but I kind of like rainy days because I feel like it's kind of comforting and soothing, like getting my errands done and kind of just staying inside. I kind of dig that, so. Oh well, we'll still get our stuff done. I wanna show you guys my fridge just so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. Literally nothing. Like the egg carton is empty. I have nothing except water, no other drinks. All I have is literally bread and red onions. I have my grocery list. I'm going to Trader Joe's today, of course. What else is new? And I need to get just like all the basic essentials, but I'll also try to like see what's new there and I'll of course do a haul for you guys. So I'm gonna head out now because I wanna eat and drink coffee. I literally have had nothing today. I'm like fasting at this point. So we're gonna head out to the grocery store and my errands. So I'll see you guys when I get back. Okay guys, we're back from Trader Joe's. I have my cart here full of all my groceries. I'll do a haul. I always forget to bring, guys, I do have reusable bags, by the way. I do, and I always forget to bring them in Trader Joe's, but I promise I have them, and I promise that I always either reuse these paper bags or I always recycle, so they're not going to waste. I got, like I said, literally everything. I needed everything. I didn't have anything in my fridge. So we got a lot of essentials, and then we also got a lot of like fun stuff too. So I stocked up on my veggies again. We got spinach, arugula, and cilantro because I want to make a taco bowl this week. I got a bunch of cheeses because I want to make a lasagna this week as well. So I got the light shredded three cheese blend. Try to save some calories and I got two of those. And I also got mozzarella. And then I also got a lot of frozen foods just in case on those days when I like don't feel like cooking that much. I got orange chicken for Anto. That's his favorite food. And we got some vegetable fried rice to go with that. Also got some little snacks. I thought these looked so good. I got the mac and cheese bites. And I also got turkey corn dogs. Never had turkey corn dogs before, but I'm sure they're a lot healthier than regular corn dogs and hot dogs. So that'll be fun to try. And then I got 
some mochi. I got the chocolate peanut butter one. I've never tried this. I've only ever had like the strawberry or green tea, but I'm sure that's gonna be good. And then I restocked on my pesto that I use for when I cook eggs for breakfast. Also use it for when I bake sandwiches. And then we just got some ricotta for the lasagna. This is part skim, so again, trying to cut off as many calories as I could. Oh, and then we got another ice cream. I've been trying to find this for a long time. I saw this on TikTok and they didn't have it in my store or I just couldn't find it, but I finally found it. It's the cold brew coffee and boba ice cream. I believe this is non-dairy. Yeah, it's coconut non-dairy. It has tapioca pearls in it. I'm so excited to try that. I got some snacks and I got the jalapeno seasoned corn and rice puffs. I've gotten these once before and I love them. They're so good and a nice light snack. And then I also got the chips in a pickle potato chip. These are new. So I like pickles. I like potato chips. I thought that would be pretty good. And then another new item. I think this is new. This is the seasoned popcorn. And apparently it has like all sorts of flavors like tangy, sweet. I'm going to try this right now. We're going to try this. Oh my God. Mm. Oh, oh, that is a burst of flavor. Oh, I see what they did there. It tastes cheesy for the most part, but I can also taste the spice and the smoky kind of like barbecue chips also. Barbecue and cheese mixed popcorn. Oh, that's good. I also got the chili and lime rolled corn tortilla chips. I think this is like their version of Takis. Oh, this is a new item, I believe. I got some Scandinavian swimmers. They are sour, chewy gummies. They're just like Sour Patch Kids. And then I also got my very favorite, I haven't gotten this in a while, the cookie brownie desserts if you put them in the microwave for like 10 seconds to warm it up a bit oh so good okay i also got baking soda because my bathtub got clogged and i don't want to call maintenance because i always call them they know me by name now they know my apartment they know who i am and i get so embarrassed every time i call them so i'm gonna try to unclog my tub by myself you pour boiling hot water in the tub and then you pour in vinegar and then baking soda and I actually tried that before at my old apartment. I unclogged my sink that way and it actually works. So we're gonna try that today. We got some bread. I got these multi-grain slims. These are some sandwich slim breads. Each one is 100 calories. So I bought that for my turkey sandwiches. And then I also got Ezekiel sesame bread. We got some lasagna noodles and I also got some sauce for the lasagna. I got the roasted garlic marinara. I got two of them. Also got this Cajun style Alfredo sauce. I believe this is a new item too. I'm really intrigued. I don't know what that would taste like, but that sounds good. So maybe we'll make Alfredo one night. And then I also got sriracha. I needed to stock up on my sriracha. Now we're getting to the more healthy stuff. I got a bag of some peaches. I got romaine for the taco salad bowls avocado of course i haven't had avocado in so long i'm so excited to finally eat avocado toast again and then i got some cucumbers i got chives some corn i like to cook some corn as a side for dinner sometimes we know i'm obsessed with brussels sprouts and then i just got almond milk and then i also got some juice i got orange peach mango last bag y'all so we got some blueberries I got turkey bacon, and I also got some pesto chicken breast. I usually get the shawarma, chicken shawarma breast, but I wanted to try something new, so I'm trying the pesto. And I got another frozen meal. This is chicken pot pie. Got a sweet potato. I like to chop them up and put them in the air fryer as a side for dinner. We got some sweet apple chicken sausage. I love to cut these up and cook them for breakfast. And we got some grape tomatoes. I also got my reduced sodium turkey breast. This is my very, very favorite. It tastes so good. I got the everything but the bagel, not duo. I think I show this in every single Trader Joe's haul, but it's my favorite. We got a bag of lemons. Finally got coffee creamer. Then I also got some vinegar. This is brand new. This is the organic grilled chicken breast with rib meat and I got this for salads. And then I also got butter. I needed to also restock on some cream cheese. I got the light version. I also got the light sour cream for my ta taco salad bowls. And then I also restocked on the everything but the bagel spread. I like to put this on bagels and then put the everything but the bagel seasoning on it. And then I got my artichoke jalapeno dip. I've showed this so, 
so many times before. And then last grocery item is organic cold brew coffee. I've never tried this before, but I don't want to drink the La Coulombe coffees anymore. You guys know I always drink those. That has a lot of calories for like one can, so I'm trying not to drink those anymore. So I got that as an alternative. I also got sparkling water from the Trader Joe's line. This is a brand new flavor for summer. Watermelon lemon, that's gonna be interesting. We got some chrysanthemums. I got two bundles. These will go on the living room table. And then we got some three stem hydrangeas. This will go on the dining room table. So that's all I got from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna go ahead and clean my fridge, restock, put everything away, and then I need to eat. I'm literally starving. For lunch, making my go-to sandwich turkey, and I put the everything but the bagel Greek style yogurt on one side, pesto on the other, arugula, balsamic glaze, everything but the bagel, salt and pepper, it looks so good. Also, some onion, yum. We're gonna eat lunch really quick. I also just tried the sparkling water, the watermelon lemonade. I put it in ice water, because I like it cold. And honestly, it doesn't taste like anything it just tastes like unflavored carbonated water actually i can kind of taste the watermelon but it's so stale i don't know i'm not a huge fan not something i would repurchase cleaned wiped down organized i tossed some things out and i don't know why like when i spend a few hundred dollars on groceries i feel like i get so much at the store but then when i like load up my fridge and then look at it i feel like it's still empty is that just me or is that like a normal thing like I feel like it's still empty but we can survive off of this for now and then the freezer got a lot of stuff for the freezer not really much here change just like all my meats are always still there a random ice cube but we got all of our frozen foods organized all the desserts I am currently catching up on some work and I tried the pickle potato chips. They are really good. And I dipped them in the artichoke and jalapeno dip. Such an amazing combo. I feel like anything goes good with this dip. Any type of chip, any type of vegetable, anything literally goes good with this. And I'm currently watching Schitt's Creek and I literally watched the whole series before. I'm so obsessed with this show and I started watching it recently again, just like re-watching it. Also here are the flowers. I think they look so Pretty and fresh. I got my laundry going. I'm all unpacked. The luggage is away. That's my carry-on bag. I still have to unpack that, but I'm gonna do that later. Okay, so I wanted to do my little haul slash unboxing of the things that I got. I have a package from Shein that I'm opening right now. I told myself I wouldn't buy from Shein anymore because like the clothes are cute and all, but the quality is not the best, obviously. It's like super 
cheap clothing and it's just like fast fashion that like goes in and out of style really quick and I told myself I wanted to invest in higher quality pieces that are like timeless pieces that would last a long time but I was searching for bathing suits for the summer and I like googled I googled something I forgot what it was but I was searching for something specific in a bathing suit and Shein popped up on Google and I looked at it and I was like, wow, they actually do have cute bathing suits. And I have heard good things about their bathing suits. So I ordered a lot of like summer tops and bathing suits. Start with all of the bathing suits. I got a lot of Shein bikinis. The packaging is really cute though. Cause they all come in the reusable plastic bags, but this one is like specially, especially for the bathing suit. So, okay. So this one, is a two-piece set but it's a one piece so it's like a ribbed really pretty color and this came with a little tie around little skirt that's kind of cute i like how it matches and this looks like it's like really good material it comes with the padding in the bra you can like take it out the padding is so thick so that's really nice and the material yeah is really thick so then this one is what is this i think this is another one piece there's a lot going on with this one so this is how that looks and up here it has like a little criss like it goes across your neck like this and then it has like one strap so this may not be the best for tan lines but i feel like for like a casual day out like if i'm going on like a boat or like going to like a pool party like I feel like this would be something cute to wear and then I got a two-piece and oh this is what I googled I googled brown bathing suit and I tried to find some on Amazon I couldn't really find any so I found this on Shein this isn't really brown so here's the top it's like a ruched like bandeau top I love bandeau tops that is really pretty I really like that color high-waisted bottom with a really thick Band. Yeah, the quality is really great so far in all these bathing suits. This one is just a, another one piece. Oh, it's a two piece. Okay. And here's the top. Oh, that's cute. I forgot about this. And it has like a little tie there. I love the tie. The little knot. Matching white bottoms. Wow, this is really good material. It feels like a towel. Like it's that terry material. I got a few other things. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I got this top. I feel like this would be a nice nighttime outfit. Wearing a little black bralette, wearing this over top with some jeans, like mom jeans that would be so 90s, right? This one is, what is this? Oh, okay, here's a photo of it. That's what it is. It has like three straps that all go on one side of your shoulder. Okay, so yeah, this black top, this is a good material also. It's stretchy, it's ribbed, and it seems like it's like durable. So then, yeah, it's like cross. I'm just loving colors for the summer. Ooh, this is a really pretty print. It's like a wrap top, long sleeve, wide, like these wide sleeves. This is so like 70s, like 70s tropical vibes I get from this. And then I got one more top and this also is like the same style. I'm, no I'm noticing a lot of things this season are like the one shouldered look, so. That's what that looks like. It has like yellow threading on it. That's pretty. I think that would be cute for like the nighttime also. And then I got some accessories. I got a purse. I got just a little shoulder bag. So yeah, I think this one was only like $8 maybe. And then I got some jewelry. I think this is a bracelet set. So it comes with like this herringbone one, like a couple of Cuban chain links. I really liked the like knot twist one and then the last thing i got are a set of rings and i saw a review someone said that the rings like obviously tarnish and will turn your finger green so she like used clear nail polish on it before she wore it so i'll probably do that but it came with like all of these dome rings which i'm really loving and then also came with this really skinny one this one's pretty skinny but yeah for the most part it's like all these big dome rings but look how cute that is i really like that so next i want to unbox all of the stuff that i got from italic and i have talked about italic a couple times before so basically italic it's an online retailer and it's membership only and they have over thousands of different products that are made at the same like factories and manufacturers as leading brands and by leading brands i mean like designer brands like hermes prada they have fashion they have like shoes accessories clothing they also have a lot of home like high quality home things like for your kitchen for your bed i did have a duvet and towels that i showed you guys previously from them and they're made at the same manufacturer as the four seasons it doesn't have 
the like label or the brand name on it that gives it that expensive price so the quality is still amazing and I love 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 the aesthetic of Italic they have so many cute like home decor and like kitchenware that is like such my aesthetic and the clothing accessories are all really like chic and minimal and classic and timeless for a limited time you can get a discount I do have a code for you guys to get 50% off your membership and the membership lasts for one whole year and as a member you can shop all of the pieces and all of their different things on the website for a fraction of the cost if you are like not a member so my code will be in my description and you can either shop through the link in my description so I got a set of four wine glasses and they're red wine glasses how gorgeous is that wow they're like a really good size too i love the shape of them Ooh, a purse this gives me hermes vibe all right so here we go here is the bag oh my gosh that is really pretty it's so sleek it's so sophisticated looking i love the style of it it's like a top handle bag and then it comes with the strap also they had a lot of different colors they had a lot of neutral colors but I thought that this would be so pretty for the summertime. And it also comes with a nice dust bag. Next, we have a candle. I've gotten this candle before. This is the Lilac Jasmine Sandalwood. It smells so good. And I love the look of the, of the candle itself. Like, it's so sleek. The next thing I got are a pair of leggings. The leggings are made at the same manufacturer as aloe leggings. These are definitely like workout leggings. Like, they're really durable, really strong. They have the nice threading. I got a set of silverware. It comes with four, like, normal forks, four, like, salad forks. It comes with four knives, butter knives, and it comes with, like, two different spoons like soup spoon and um, like a regular spoon. So let's see. Oh, that is nice. Oh, that's what they look like. It's like some high quality silverware. Wow, that is really nice. So that's all that I got from Italic. So if you guys wanna get 50% off your yearly membership, then the coupon code will be in my description. Also the link, you can just click the link and it'll like give you the discount automatically. All right, so I'm gonna try everything on from Shein. Here is the white bathing suit with a little knot tie. I love it. Like I like the design of this knot. And I don't know if I can take this knot out. This one is a big yes. Here's the like brown ruched one. I love this. It fits so good. It's so comfortable. So much room to stretch and I love the design of the bottoms and of the top. I just think it looks so good and I love this color. I think it really complements my skin tone. Here's the ivory colored one piece with the matching skirt. I really like this one. The only thing I don't really like is like how there's like a little line here. Do you see that? It kind of makes it look like it's two pieces and not like one whole piece. But other than that, it fits really well. All of these bathing suits are really secure. So if you're chesty, like I feel like it would protect like your goods really well. And then the little skirt is just such a cute addition. Here's the black one piece with like the funky cutouts and design. I really like it. It's really comfortable. It's not too like aggressive at the neck like it's really loose so i feel like i can breathe up here there's like a little hook you can attach it on and off right here so it's like easy to put on but yeah this is another great one first impressions are great so we'll see when i go to the beach i'm going to the beach in a couple more weeks um i'll probably bring all these and we'll test it in the ocean but yeah so far I love the design and the quality of them and they look really cute so now i'm trying on all the tops that i got here's that like fishnet black one and it is so cute it fits pretty good it's a little bit tight on the arms i got a size large but i think it's so cute i love the design the only thing is that the zipper is like really hard to like maneuver this is gonna be a nice cute like nighttime summer outfit obsessed with this top this is so like miami summer this makes you look tan so yeah this is cute i think all these tops are literally under ten dollars so i mean for like the price and the quality is like good too like it's not bad it's not thin here is the black top this one is like really big not big but like it's not as tight as the other ones so i don't know if i'm wearing it wrong i believe this is how you wear it you wear it all on like this side but i still like the design of it so it's really comfortable and i like the cut of like the front kind of has like that like dip here the only thing is that like for well, right now i'm wearing like a bra strap I'm trying to cover it up because this third strap that's a part of the dress literally looks like a bra strap already and it's kind of loose 
so yeah that's the only thing but other than that it's a really cute like design and top and here we have the final top I'm so obsessed because I love wide-legged arms or not wide-legged wide arm shirts I think they're so fun so yeah this design is also really pretty another nice tropical summer design I think they had matching pants on the website so I'll link those if that is the case and a tip for these like wrap tie shirts like this I always like tuck it under my bra like on both sides so that like no matter what you do and like which way it gets pulled like it will not move like it will stay in place so for dinner I was really trying to eat healthy I had it in my mind all day that I was gonna eat a healthy dinner but due to this grossness of weather I wanted some comfort food so I'm making my mini pizzas that I've shown before these are similar to the low calorie pizza that I showed before but instead of using low calorie low carb tortilla I'm using a pita bread this time so not as low cal but the pita bread from Costco this is it this is from Costco this stuff is so so good the bread tastes so good and it tastes really good as a pizza crust too and I got my pizza sauce and I'm gonna use the mozzarella and a little bit of the cheese blend that I got today from Trader Joe's. Oh, they turned out so good. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Got my pizza. I don't know how I missed it, but I don't think I ever watched David's wedding. So I'm watching it right now. By the candlelight, my new italic candle. Guys, it smells so, so good. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm going to just chill and relax for the night. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one.